Good morning everyone and welcome to a brand new segment called This or That where I take a look at two similar items and see how they stack up against each other and ultimately which one I would rather keep uh, if I really were to have to. This is kind of behind the scenes of how I decide which things to keep after I review them to you guys. Um, so yeah, basically a lot goes back to the thrift stores, others are re-gifted, and a select few are go back up on my shelf where they are admired for a little while before uh, they collect dust and I decide to give them away anyway. That's the nature of collectors, my friends. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Playmobil Figures line. Basically, if you're unfamiliar with blind bags in general, uh, these are just bags, uh, opaque bags, which you cannot see what figures you may be getting on the inside. Lego has been doing this a lot uh, recently. Um, but they have uh, a uniform package. Uh, basically, boys and girls would be grabbing the same package because it has a multitude of boy and girl figures inside. Uh, it's kind of interesting how they just decided to go with the gender neutral uh, form of this, whereas Playmobil decided to go with the boy packs and the girl packs. Um, very pink and very shiny. Uh, my lights are, are really having a fit with these. Uh, but yeah, so if you... Uh, want to uh to follow these sort of guidelines where you get only boy figures in this or only girl figures in this and there's a lot of pink and a lot of blue in each one you know i'm not really a fan of this type of uh packaging or or whatnot but uh playmobil actually has a good track record in in my eyes uh, in terms of what type of figures you get in these sets for instance um here in the boys set you get this male hairstylist which you know, I, I don't know, uh, it kind of threw me for a loop. Uh, I didn't totally expect it, um, and it was a very nice surprise. I just like that, uh, uh, you know, they aren't uh, sexist with their jobs. You know, it could have easily been a female hairstylist. Uh, conversely, here is a female Spartan, and I really dig her. I love her uh, her headdress and her sword and her, uh, her eye makeup. I, uh, let's just say, uh, that might be a tattoo, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's basically what we're going on with. Um, so, who knows what uh, figures may lie inside for this Series 17 set. Um, these are totally random to me. I, I didn't really look at what figures come in these sets. So, uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to see what ultimately we get with these. Um, so, without fur further ado, let's get just get right on into it. Okay, so uh, let's just start with the boy figures first. Uh, basically, we have this very shiny package here, which makes it very hard to film. Uh, this has come out blurry in numerous times and numerous takes, so I apologize for the hasty jump cut there. But yeah, so here we go. I bought two of these guys and two of the girl figures, just to see if I can get a nice variety of figures. Uh, maybe mix and match them later on. I, I don't know. Um, basically, this whole package is very confusing to the camera and confusing to me, ultimately. Uh, I'm not really sure which characters are actually available. I mean, I can see what's available, but it's hard to tell what's attached to who. Is that tennis racket attached to this guy, or where's this sword coming from? Is this from that guy? Very confusing. It took me a while to figure out that this gold pan here is actually attached to this miner, I guess. Uh, hopefully nobody's uh, serving them any alcoholic drinks. Uh, but in the bottom here is a samurai, which is something I actually want to get. I want to see him. Um, there's a scuba diver and uh, a crazed uh, war veteran, I guess, uh, and an alien. So that's cool. Um, yeah, let's take a look at these guys. Um, on the back here, nothing really special. Uh, oh, it basically it just tells you where uh, they're located in Zernendorf, Germany. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But I at least can pronounce Playmobil correctly now. Hooray! Uh, more warnings, more warnings, more Octoons and other things. And Japanese for some reason. That, that's really cool. Very inclusive. Way to go, Playmobil. Way to go. Okay, so here we go. I got my scissors here and a knife just in case it doesn't really pan out. But it doesn't look like I don't need that knife. And what do we got here? Ooh. Oh, it looks like we got the, the knight. So I will do a quick jump cut here. Ooh, that took a little longer than I expected, but here we go. Uh, here's the little knight figure, I guess. It comes with a little crossbow, a cool little sword there, a nice uh, gold inlay, um, copper spalding there on his chest, and a nice uh, crazy looking helmet, uh, honestly. Um, I just like that. Actually, kind of, they Playmobilized everything, and I like it. It's very cute. Um, although he's probably a very deadly um, 
deadly with that smile. Look at that. Uh, but one thing I liked about this is the fact that it came with actual arrows instead of just a like a like a little plastic star pattern to kind of stick in there and never take out again. I've seen a couple of figures do that. Uh, and he comes with a spare sword just so uh, he can do wield if he really wanted to, or uh, have a sword fight with somebody else. You know, a willing participant, of course. Um, he might get the upper hand. <laughs> oh, maybe that's why they don't stick him in there like that. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the other male figure and see if I can put him together on camera, although I highly doubt it. Uh, I tried to do that last time, uh, hence the weird jump cut. I kind of anticipated it. Um, putting these figures together is very, very awkward, at least on camera. Uh, well, there we go. This guy had a lot more pieces than I actually anticipated. Uh, the neck ring and also these uh, cufflings, I suppose. Uh, but he's very jolly. Uh, now that I've got all this wardrobe uh, fixed and everything, he's got weird looking little puppets, to be honest. The, they need a little more detail. That's really kind of creepy. Take those off. I'm not sure many people really dig a clown, but and technically he's a jester, so maybe that's uh, a, a non sticking point for some people. I really dig his hat. Uh, but if you're so inclined to not like this guy, you can have little battles uh, with your knight and just, uh, you know, punish him for the king. Uh, that joke was terrible. Nah, write better comedy. I will do better, master. I'll do better. Please, don't stab me. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's move on to the girl figures. <laughs> Just have that all in the background. And hopefully we won't have to do a weird jump cut here. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's the third figure that I got. Uh, a fairy princess with a, with a leech so she can... Smack people upside the head. She can smack the jester upside the head. Arr, that was a terrible joke. Oh, do better, mistress. Uh. Hmm. Anyway, um, very interesting collar here. Um, I did not expect that to actually clamp on to her neck, uh, at least to hold on to her wings. Interesting. I, I'm not really familiar with uh, Playmobil at all, so these clutchings are very interesting to me. Uh, very involved here in uh, in terms of minifigures or figures in general. I'm used to just putting on the legs, the torso, and the head, and all these other parts are really throwing me for a loop. Anyway, that's a cool figure. She can't bend. She can't sit down. I shouldn't look up her dress. Just sit her. Just stand her right over there. Oh, she comes with a butterfly. I didn't notice. That's a cute butterfly. That's nice. Um, and a bracelet I forgot to put on her. Oh well. Uh, they come with a lot of bracelets. Jeez. Let's look at the next woman. So here we go. Uh, here's the fourth and final figure. This is uh, actually unexpected to me. I didn't expect there to be a baker in here. I don't know why that's unexpected to me. Uh, she also comes with a sticker that goes somewhere. Somewhere. Um, I'll have to look on the instructions. Maybe it goes on a little package here. That makes sense. Uh, it's, it's, it's a wheat. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, she's just gone to the market and she bought herself a new bowl and a new... Uh, a thing of wheat and some eggs. Um, the eggs really are surprising to me, the fact that they went to so, so much trouble to actually make the eggs. But as far as I can tell, she can't actually hold on to the eggs. It uh, doesn't really want to fit into her hand. That's a little disappointing. Anyway, I love her hat. That's probably the best looking hat I've seen. Um, and I'm a real sucker for chefs. <laughs> it's, it's, it's to be said. I really like chefs. Um, so let's see. If I were to keep any of these figures afterwards, let's see, which one would I keep? Um, okay, you got Aragorn here, who's got a nice looking tan there. I love his chest plate there. A lot of nice uh, metal gold paints uh, on the front. And of course, the Spalding's very nice. Um, but I, I can do without him. The Jester is fun. I like him. Um, but, you know, who really likes clowns? The hat's the only really cool part about him. Um, but I've seen a lot of clown figures, and I'm not really sure. Is she, this lady a fairy princess? She might be. I liked that uh, they used uh, a different skin tone for all of the figures, ultimately. Uh, this guy's a little tanner. That one's a, a, just a Caucasian. She's Caucasian. And here we go. Here's an African-American, or I guess, uh, yeah, I'll just call her African-American. Uh, just because I don't know what they call them overseas. And, yeah, whatever. Uh, I just like the fact that they did this. Uh, they had the uh, a fairy princess, uh, yeah, with a little leak. 
that she dropped. Oh well. Um, but ultimately, I like the chef. The chef is probably the best one, though, or, or rather the baker here. Uh, I have a chef already, and so maybe they can make make uh, something nice together. Um, so yeah, so uh, <laughs> hopefully that was a fun uh, build together. Uh, I, there's probably a lot of cuts in there. Sorry about that. Hopefully it uh, didn't look too bad. Uh, we'll do more of these later on because it was kind of fun to see what I did ultimately and which ones I'd rather keep. Uh, really kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, so uh, stick around and we'll do more Playmobil, more Lego, more fun stuff. Uh, until then, bye!